हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर लेट्स रिकैप क्लास सेल्फ असेसमेंट क्लास मींस असेस योर सेल्फ चेक योर सेल्फ ओके दिस इज द क्लास असेसमेंट क्लास ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक फ्लाइमिंगो poem 1 my mother at 66 and prose 1 the last lesson so are you ready for that let's recap both of the lesson poetry and prose all the students you have to answer the questions in my comment box at first write your name class section and all the answers in a sequence in one place question number 1 to question number 20 okay question number 1 to 10 from the poetry section and question number 1 to 10 from prose section you have to answer the questions in one place with your name and section in my comment box okay dear students your first question is from your first poem my mother at 66 the question is who is the poet of the poem question number 1 is who is the poet of the poem my mother at 66 this is your question number 1 okay question number 2 when and where was the poetess born when in which year and where place okay so you have to tell me you have to write your answers where the poetess was born and when okay this is your second question question number 1 you have to tell me the name of the poet question number 2 where and when she was born and question number 3 which day is mentioned in the poem in the beginning of the first stanza in the beginning of the poem which day is mentioned in the poem okay this is your question number 3 question number 4 is where was the poetess going she was driving her old mother 66 year old mother was sitting beside her and the poetess was driving to where where she was going with her mother okay this is your question number 4 Question number 5 is how did the poet's mother look How did the poet's mother look Question number 6 What is the pen name of Kamla Das I have told you about her pen name under the name of dot 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 okay i have told you what was the pen name of kamla das question number 7 what is the theme of the poem my dear students during the time of explaining the poem when i was telling you about the summary of the poem i have told you 
the theme of the poem so you have to answer the question number 7 what is the theme of the poem theme message your next question is what are the meanings of the words first one is corpse second one is sprinting and third one is spelling out write the meaning of these words okay this is your question number 8 her face like sprinting young trees sprinting what is the meaning of sprinting merry children merry children spelling out of their homes and next question is what was the childhood fear of the poetess childhood fear what is the childhood fear of the poetess and this is your last question that is which poetic device is used in the line in the poem here i have mentioned the line of the poem and my dear students you have to tell me you have to answer the questions that which poetic device is used here and looked out at the young trees okay this is your poem poem number 1 my mother at 66 okay so hurry up my dear students answer your questions in one place all the answers must be given in one place with your name class and section okay i will tell you your performance score okay how many questions are right or wrong i will tell you so you have to reply you have to answer your questions in a sequence in a order 1 to 10 at first answer the questions of poetry section poem number 1 from question number 1 to 10 after that prose question number 1 to 10 the last lesson i have discussed about the uh, about this lesson the last lesson this is your first lesson of your textbook flamingo so let's discuss about the questions who is the writer of the lesson question number 1 who is the writer of the lesson you have to answer the questions means you have to tell me who is the writer who is the author of this lesson question number 2 what are the names of the french districts where m hamel was teaching okay what were the french districts question number two okay let's discuss about question number 3 why did friends want to spend the day out of doors out of doors he was not willing to attend the school that day okay and he wanted to spend the day out of doors why what was the reason behind it question number 4 who was drilling at the back of sun i have told you okay question number 5 what did friends notice when he passed the town hall 
when he passed the town hall what did franz notice near the bulletin board what's this is your question number 5 your question number 6 is what did franz notice about m hamel when he reached the school when he entered in the classroom he saw his teacher and what did he notice what did he notice question number 7 is what things tempted franz to keep away from school what are the things what were the things tempted franz to keep away from school okay this is your question number 7 next question is what did franz see through the window when he reached the school at first he realized that the atmosphere was quite different it was just like sunday morning there was no hustle and bustle no sound coming from a school site like every day but when he entered in school building and when he see when he saw through the window what did he see what was the unusual thing next question number 9 what did m hamel say about the french language when i was telling you when i was explaining this chapter already i have told you m hamel described about the importance of french language so here the question is what did m hamel say about the french language what did he say during the time of telling its importance and this is the last question last question is what is the theme of the story what is the theme of the story here the question is what is the theme of the poem and here the question is what is the theme of the story so this is your let's recap class this is a class of your self assessment for the self assessment check yourself assess yourself poem number first and prose number first prose lesson first and poetry number 1 poetry number 1 and prose number 1 okay so we have discussed about the questions related to this lesson related to this poetry poem and uh, my dear students you have to reply you have to answer your questions in my comment box thank you very much and have a nice day